This one minute film photography tip is simple. If you've got a large format camera of any type, 4x5, 5x7, 8x10, whatever, get a Fresnel lens to help you have a brighter image, especially if you're using a wider lens like I am. This is a 125 millimeter lens, which is like a 30 to 35 millimeter full frame equivalent. And because of that, the image is darker than what you would get with say a 210 millimeter or 300 millimeter lens on a 4x5 camera at least. So I'm gonna show you the before and after real quick, no BS of what it looks like but with just the ground glass and then what it looks like with a Fresnel lens right over the ground glass. Easy. Here's what it looks like with just the ground glass. You can see here, I didn't, you know, I've taken this off because I'm about to put the Fresnel in. And here it is side by side with the Fresnel as well. And you have the textured side facing the glass. Now you can kind of see a weird glare from the Fresnel lens and that's normal because there's no dark cloth over it. With a dark cloth, this is not only gonna brighten the image but also you won't see those weird rings. If you're worried about critical focus, a focusing loop can still help you here. You'll still be able to see right through it to the ground glass and get that critical focus, no problem. It's obviously an amazing difference here. It's gonna help me a ton with focusing more clearly because I'm using a 125 millimeter lens. It brightens up the entire image, especially outside of the center of it. The center is always bright, but the Fresnel makes it even brighter outside of that. Obviously a dark cloth is gonna make this image even brighter. This is with no dark cloth or cover and it's awesome. You should totally get a Fresnel lens. I was like 50 bucks on eBay from E-Tone, the E-Tone super bright uh, Fresnel lens. And I don't even think I have to say much more. It kind of sells itself. I hope this was helpful for you. And if it was, hit that subscribe button for more large format photography videos, film photography videos, and fine art photography videos. I'll see you in the next video.